I am Precious Mzea Sakaleji. Welcome to Kamil TV Media News. The headlines. Failure to pay 15 ngwe for a water container compels women to use dirty water. PF introspecting after a defeat. Join me with the media news in detail after this commercial. Would you like to win some cool cash? Say no more. Stand a chance to win your share of 1 million kwacha. Simply make a transaction from your Zamtel mobile money account and you could be one of weekly winners of up to 10,000 kwacha. Be empowered with Zamtel mobile money. The house star 344 hash to activate your account. This promotion runs from 28th July to 31st October 2021. Zamtel, your digital lifestyle partner. And now the media news in detail. The inability to pay 15 ngwe per container of water has prompted some residents of Chaisa compound in Mandevu constituency to resort to utilizing shallow wells. The residents spoken to say they have to walk long distances from Chaisa to Garden compound along the famous Bombay drainage closer to the rail line in order to access free water on shallow wells. In the heart of Lusaka district, not too far from the central business district, CBD, one would be amazed to discover that access to clean and safe drinking water still remains a serious challenge, as is the case for some residents of Chaisa compound. The residents here have to walk to the nearby compound garden to access free water as water is made available to them, but through water trusts, which they say they cannot afford. A bucket of clean water from the water trust initiative Initiative care charges 15 ngwe per bucket, which according to them becomes expensive when in need for water to perform comprehensive household duties like washing and bathing. The water they opt to use in efforts to avoid the costs that come with paying for water. Even through the natural eye, one can tell that it is not fit for human use as it comes from a shallow well, which is not too far from pit latrines, which make the majority of sanitary facilities in the area. <laughs> They have therefore appealed to the relevant authorities to consider creating more water kiosks like care that would also cater for those that cannot afford and also bring piped water in the area. <laughs> The Chaisa residents that mostly trek to garden compound are usually women with their small babies, making their children vulnerable to either falling into the Bombay drainage, the shallow well itself, or catching diseases like cholera from the unhygienic exposure they get when here. Liseli Kanyanga Mubanga, Kamna TV News in Lusaka. Gears Initiative Zambia has welcomed the move taken by the Auditor General to audit financial and non-financial resources spent during preparations and conducting of elections in government institutions. Gears Initiative Executive Director McDonald Chipenzi says the law must follow everyone who committed an offence. He says allowing justice to prevail does not in any way amount to witch hunting, but only a means of promoting the rule of law. Mr. Jipenzi has further called on the incoming government not to interfere with the law. People must not hide in politics in order to commit criminality. We are a country of laws. We are a country that have institutions. And so everyone must operate within the framework of our legal uh, provisions. So if someone committed evil, criminality, 
which at that particular time was attributed, was politicized, rather, where we commit a sin, you commit murder, it will be suspected this party members, this party members, we want those who committed crime to be brought before the law. Vice President elect Mutale Narumango has acknowledged the need to ensure that the environment is conducive for women's participation in politics. Speaking when she was speaking when the women movement paid a courtesy call on her at her residence in Lusaka on Sunday, she adds that violence is something that has met a lot of women turn away from politics, hence the reason why the UPND government is working towards curbing carterism. Meanwhile, non-governmental organizations coordinating council NGO CC chairperson Mary Mulinga has called on the vice president elect to ensure improved participation of women in decision making. A group of women movement Sunday afternoon paid a courtesy call to vice president elect Mutalena Lumango at a residence in Lusaka to offer their congratulatory messages and air out other critical issues that continue to affect women at large. The group include the non-government organization coordinating council NGOCC, the Young Women's Christian Association, and Zambia National Women's Lobby. And speaking during the visit, NGOCC chairperson Mary Mulinga told the vice president-elect that women are confident and looking upon her. It's there since 2015, but has never been operationalized. And I think one of the key in aspect in that is the formation or the setting up of the gender commission. We feel that in order for, I think, institutions to be held accountable when it comes to issues of gender equity and equality, there is need for an overarching institution that will uh, be able to hold accountable. And we feel that I think a commission will do just that. We have been asking, you know, the past governments, every time we had an opportunity to say, can we set up the Gender Equity and Equality uh, Commission. The third uh, issue that I think we want you to be thinking about is uh, that the women in decision-making positions, which I've already alluded to, the numbers are low. Something needs to be done. We cannot be majority voters and be very few. And in responding to some of the issues raised, the Vice President-elect says the new government will ensure that there is equal participation of women and that the political environment is made conducive to ensure that they are free. The environment is getting more and more rough. Yes. We have been talking about violence, but now it has real impact. Yes. For me to go and campaign in Chibombo, I need security. Mm. Why do I need security? Commanders. commanders. Mm -hmm. Too many commanders and my party has said no more. Mm. And we are standing with that. Mm. You commit a crime, don't hide in the path. You are a criminal. Mm. But we have left the environment for so long that women are simply too scared mm. to get in there. Don't worry about the abuse that we get, the social abuse as women. That is also a violation of our lives. Miriam Kemba, reporting for Comni TV News. In other news, the Patriotic Front says the party will come out as a strong opposition with its 59 members of parliament and numerous councillors around the country. Party chairperson for information and publicity, Given Luvinda, says the party is doing an introspection to establish what led to their loss in the just-ended 2021 general election. Mr. Lubinda further stated that the party is doing introspection to come out at the right trajectory. The former Justice Minister further stated that the party has a strong membership base, which he said gives them the confidence of bouncing back after the loss. To this extent, the process will involve all structures and organs of the party. All ordinary members and supporters alike will be encouraged to present their views. As our guiding principle goes, we shall make everyone count. No view shall be ignored. This process to is to commence within the shortest possible time. 
lessons drawn from this process will lead to the party making necessary amendments. We are alive to the fact that the members out there are grieving much more than the leadership at this loss. It is therefore imperative that we make sure that they are involved in the process of making this introspection and conducting this post-mortem. We are alive to the fact that our members across the country want answers, but they also have the answers. They are the wisdom of the party, and we shall give them latitude for them to guide the party going forward. Members of the press, the patriotic front is determined to yet again be made stronger and more reinvigorated than ever before. Well, that news item brings us to the end of Kamna TV Media News, but before we go, here are the headlines once again. Failure to pay 15 way for a water container compels women to use dirty water. PF introspecting after defeat. That is all. I am Precious Mzea Sakaleji. Thank you for watching. Remember to always wash your hands for at least 20 seconds or use alcohol best hand sanitizer, wear your mask and avoid crowded places. Stay safe. Good afternoon.